The National Aeronautics and Space Administration is partnering with teams on college campuses across America to develop new spacesuit technology that will help astronauts returning to the moon and those who eventually reach Mars. Voice of America gets you this next report. Take a look. Here would be like put that box of text. Bradley University student Zach Bachman didn't grow up thinking he'd be an astronaut. I am short, blind, and asthmatic, so I can't really be an astronaut if I wish to. But a lifelong interest in video games and computers that should be good is putting him at the center of a nationwide effort to boost new space helmet technology for the next generation of astronauts. Okay, Zach. I've always been into sci-fi and, and tech, so it's just kind of like, a, oh, this sounds like a cool project, and I kind of just got wrapped into it. That cool project? NASA's Spacesuit User Interface Technologies for Students, or SUITS, design challenge. Start procedure one. Allows college students to create spacesuit information displays within augmented reality environments. You'd still see like the world around you, but you would just have like overlays. Like the vitals would be like an overlay, but they would still see like the moon or whatever they're working on. Abby Irwin works with Bachman on Bradley's SUITS team, using the latest Microsoft HoloLens to create and test their ideas. Our navigation, we kind of got examples from like flight software, so that, like that pilots use and train with. Um, but we also got some ideas from like the game Skyrim, so like how they do navigation in those types of in like video games. Well, NASA has already announced a new spacesuit for the upcoming Artemis moon missions scheduled later this decade. The next challenge is figuring out the final version of the cutting edge technology inside. That's where suits plays a role. And so the idea was, well, why don't we put some funding toward having students contribute solutions to these technical challenges? NASA's Brandon Hargis says the suits program helps NASA solve several old problems. Lay down the ground cloth on the smooth surface area. Including handling the time delay, communicating between the Earth and the moon, and the longer lag time for signals to reach Mars. In this case, 250,000 miles away from Earth on the moon or several million miles on Mars, there's somewhat of a delay in communications. And so if the astronaut has uh, a little more autonomy to uh, make some decisions based on the plan uh, of the mission, uh, augmented reality could help them do that. In a typical year, 10 teams would travel to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, to demonstrate their designs in person. But due to the coronavirus pandemic, the current experience is all virtual and remote, giving more students a chance to participate. Because we are doing this in a virtual format this year, we actually invited 20 teams to participate. Hargis says the students' work has NASA ahead of schedule designing the technology. The work they're doing has spurred research in the field. When the first woman and next men land on the moon, the design of the AR technology influenced by students like those at Bradley University will be there, right in front of astronauts' faces, helping them boldly go and do what few have done before. I'm very proud of like what we've come up with so far and like where we could go. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Peoria, Illinois.